Hello and welcome to the Lance Life Answers channel and in today's topic we're going to be discussing how to lose weight. Five things you need to do first. The most important factor when losing weight is energy balance and what I mean by energy balance is calories in versus calories out. This will override all other factors. So let's spend this time working out what our daily calorie intake should be. This is also known as your TDEE, which is Total Daily Energy Expenditure. <laughs> and these rules I'm going to share with you will apply for whatever diet you are on. As a rule of thumb, every three and a half thousand calories that you are under your TDEE, Total Daily Energy Expenditure, you will burn one pound of body fat. So even if you burnt just 500 calories under your TDEE, Total Daily Energy Expenditure, you would burn roughly 4.5 pounds of fat per month, which is 54 pounds of fat per year. And just to kind of give you an idea of how much I burnt, I burnt 52 pounds of fat in seven months. So, like I say, on the lower end of things, you could expect those kind of results within a year, but obviously I did it a lot quicker. So let's plan ahead. By doing this, you'll know exactly how many calories you should be eating and you'll know whether you've either hit your daily target or not. So you won't be second guessing yourself each time you feel like you're not hitting your numbers. By doing this, you're giving yourself a more realistic goal. Plus, you generally won't get disappointed with the results because you can see ahead of time how long it's going to take to achieve. So number one, put your weight into the TDEE calculator. So this is the website that I first came to when I did my TDEE. It's www.muscleforlife.com forward slash meal prep. And if you go part way down the page, as I've gone here, you'll come to this Muscle for Life calculator. And the first thing we're going to do, as an example, I will do it with you and I'll put in what my previous weight was when I started my weight loss goal, which was 262 pounds. Number two, put your body fat into the TDEE calculator. So the next thing that we need to do is to enter our body fat percentage. Now, to be honest, when I first started, I didn't have the device that I've got now, which is the Sculpt Scanner. And for me, I just find it so easy to use. It pairs with your phone. I'm not promoted anyway, but for me, it was dead easy. But if I didn't have that Sculpt Scanner, then I would have gone here, which is another part of the Muscle for Life site. Uh, this is www.muscleforlife.com, how to measure your body fat percentage. Now, I've gone a little bit further down the page here, ready for this video. But for men, you can print. I mean, <laughs> if you're losing weight, you're not going to be in like these categories, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, obviously people watching this might be, you know, maybe here and wanting to get to there. Or maybe here and wanting to get to here. <laughs> so... But most people are usually like around the you know the bottom three, and um, and for me personally, I was definitely definitely around the bottom three. In fact, I perhaps go as far as saying I was maybe thirty five to forty percent body fat. Um, but as an example, what what you can do is you can just take a picture of yourself and just sort of compare. It doesn't matter that much, to be fair. You know, as long as you know the calculator can tell that you know you're either 10% or you're 30% you know it's you know if, if it's like 31.5 it's it's not it's not really that that serious but you know as long as you can guesstimate like for there where it says 35 to 40% if you just go with like 37.5 if you look exactly like that then you'll be fine but as an example here is a guy that you might recognize <laughs> this is me on the success stories page so that was my before picture. Let me see if I can bring that. Oh, I can't. No. I thought I could drag it and then bring it up bigger, but um, I've actually got a picture on the desktop. So my before picture was this. 
<laughs> as you can see, very, very chunky there. <laughs> January 27th. And um, if I get that picture and I go against these, you can look and you can see, yeah, I'm I'm pretty much here. You know, I'm not going to, you know, there's the line on the belly and I just know that I was definitely about 35 to 40% there, definitely. Um, so I'm going to use that number in my calculator. So, and also if women are watching this video, they've got a women's one as well. So if you're a, if you're a woman and you're trying to work out, you know, where you are, then obviously get a picture and then just guesstimate your body fat compared to these pictures. So if we go back to the calculator, body fat percentage, do you know what? We'll get I'll go on the higher side. I'll go on the higher side just to make things a little bit harder. So 40% body fat I was there. Number three, put your activity level into the TDEE calculator. So the next thing we need to do is to adjust the activity level. And for me personally, I had it set on the six hours plus per week last year when I lost the weight. And I was doing 25 minutes on the stair climber in the morning and then roughly about an hour's weight at night. So I easily surpassed that per week. But there will be people out there who are doing this, who want to lose weight, who perhaps don't do any exercise whatsoever. So in that case, you'd have to put it down to, you know, under one hour of exercise but one thing to remember is that if you have perhaps a manual job or a job that's a lot of walking or heavy labor then you can incorporate that as well so if you're walking around for eight hours a day you can definitely definitely put six hours per week number four put your percentage deficit into the calculator Okay, so now you've got your TDEE, -E, which here is 2774. Well, that's my TDEE. -E. Yours might be slightly different, but yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and copy that number. And then if you scroll a little bit further down the page, you're going to come to another calculator. So it's asking us for our body weight again, which is 262. And then that number that we've just copied there, the TDEE. -E. Okay, now we want to go on a deficit because we want to lose weight. We don't want to go on a surplus. That's when you want to gain muscle and put weight on. But we want a deficit. And then you're going to put 25 in this box. Then just click outside the box. So here, this is your magic number. This is the number of all numbers. This is the number of calories that you need to eat day after day after day. And I guarantee if you hit that number, or are perhaps within 50 calories either side of that number, then you will hit your weight goals, guaranteed. So we've now got the magic number. And it also gives a little breakdown of protein, carbs and fats, and how many protein, carbs and fats that they recommend. But the most important thing here is that we've now got something that we can log, something that we can we can work out, and something where we actually know whether we've actually hit our daily goal or not. Number five. Once you have your daily calorie target, use an app like MyFitnessPal in order to track your calories each and every day. Now all you need to do is hit that calorie goal, and I guarantee that you will lose weight. Here are five quick and easy tips to help you along the way. Now, it doesn't really matter what foods you eat, but if you can get 40% protein, 40% carbs, and 20% fat, then that's going to help protect your muscles from breaking down. It's going to help promote muscle growth. It's going to give you enough energy for you to do what you need to do. And also, it's going to keep your mood high because you're having enough carbs. As you lose weight each and every month, make sure that you recalculate your total daily calorie intake as your body weight will change and also your body fat. If you need a cheat meal, then try and have one only once every two weeks and then try not to go above 5,000 calories 
on that day. Otherwise, you're going to start to undo the hard work that you've put in. Track everything so that you get a clear picture of how many calories you're actually taking in. This includes cheat meals, alcoholic beverages, and even some supplements such as cod liver oil because they do also have calories in them. Although this has been a brief video, you now know how to hit that magic number and I guarantee if you hit that daily caloric number every single day, you will reach your goal within a few short months. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe as it really helps me out as keen as this is a brand new channel and I really, really would love to get your feedback. So have a great day and also one last thing, please enjoy this terrible dance. Hey!